Hey everybody, Rudy here from the Home Improvement Channel with another video showing you how to fix things around the house. In this video, I'm going to be testing the holding power of several different types of drywall anchors. Towards the end of the video, I'm also going to do a test where I'm pulling at an angle to see what kind of pull strength it takes to pull them out of the wall to try to simulate a shelf or a towel bar or something like that that might be hanging on the wall. If you're brand new to my channel, please consider clicking that subscribe button below. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Yeah, I just wanted to take a few seconds here to show you the uh, testing conditions I'm going to use. I've made this square box out of 2x4s and bolted it to this heavy bench that I've got this lawnmower sitting on so it doesn't move. And um, the box is 16 by 16 the reason i did this is is because the studs in your wall are 16 inches on center uh, so that's what we got here and then i've cut a bunch of squares of drywall over there and i've got a scale here we're going to measure the weight that it takes to pull that uh, anchor out of the wall and that's attached to a come along way up here so uh, that's the testing conditions so let's get started as you can see here, I've got the center of the board marked right here, but um, I've decided to do these off-center for these little dinky ones because um, it's not going to make any difference for the test. I'll go to the center on the larger anchors. Um, this one here that I'm using is this Triple Grip Cobra, and it's a pretty generic anchor, but not the worst one you can get. Um, I did want to explain something real quick. The rating on this is 35 pounds. And on most of these uh, tests that I'm going to do, I'm going to do a straight up and down pull. Okay, so probably if you're hanging a shelf or something like that, you're not going to have that straight up and down pulling uh, motion. You're going to have more of an out and down motion because the shelf sticks out. Okay, so I'm going to do a couple of tests towards the end where you can see that the weight rating goes down really quickly when you back this up and change the angle of the pull. So anyway, let's get started. Uh, this one requires just a quarter inch hole in the drywall. All right, let's see what happens. Well, that didn't take much effort. All right, next I'm using this one. This is about as generic as it gets. Um, by the way, at the end of this video, I'm going to give my recommendation on my personal favorite anchor, and it may not be the strongest one, so stay tuned. But anyway, let's give this little guy a try. I predict uh, I'm not going to do much. Wow. All right, forget that one. Did it push through? <laughs> it pushed through. Okay, we're going to try this little dinky one right here. And if you notice, this one doesn't even have a head on it, so it's uh, real sensitive to uh, pushing through the wall. Uh, but let's give it a shot anyway, just so you can see whether or not you should use this or not. I've used these before, and they are absolute junk. But let's, let's give it the benefit of the doubt. Carefully put the screw in without pushing or you'll push the whole thing through. There we go. Tightened up. I can't believe it. Okay, next we have this Easy Anchor Drywall and Stud Metal Anchor. It's supposed to be rated at 50 pounds. And uh, these are pretty nice because they just screw in. Um, I'm sorry if the uh, drill is in the way of the camera, but you just screw them in until they're pretty flat with the surface right there. And um, let me hook up my scale. Okay, let's see what this one does.
starting to pull. Next, we're doing basically the same thing as the metal one, but uh, this is the plastic one, and um, it's actually rated at 75, even though the metal one was rated at 50. It goes in just uh, the same way. You just use a drill if you have one, and it drills itself in. Okay, next I'm going to try these drywall toggles right here. Um, this one works on a little bit different idea. When you push that screw in like that, it flips that uh, thing right there, and then you tighten it up against the drywall. Uh, so this one ought to do pretty good. Let's see how it does. Same thing. You just use a drill to thread it in there. Makes it real easy. Well, sort of. you got to keep the uh, toggle part flat as it goes in. There we go. Just like so. And as you can see right there, that, uh, there we go, that part tightened up against the drywall. This one will probably tear out instead of actually pulling out. Okay, next we're going to use the heaviest duty one I could find. Uh, looks like this right here in the package, and it, uh, it ought to hold pretty good. I used this one time uh, over the summer to uh, hang up a pedestal sink uh, to the wall because there was no uh, studs where I needed it, and this was the uh, heftiest one I could find. You uh, have to drill a half-inch hole in there first, and uh, what you do is you insert it through the hole like so, well, here, I'm reaching behind it. Let me try that again. You can't reach behind it in real life. Um, insert that through the hole, and then let it grab the back like that, and then slide this up to the drywall tight, like so. Tight as you can get it, and then s snap those off like that. And then we're going to get the screw in there. Tighten that bad boy up against the uh, back. That's like that. How much weight do we got? 150. Catastrophic failure. I think our sink just fell. Yep, there it went. So remember I said towards the beginning of the video that I was showing the way I was testing where the pull was straight up and down and I thought that at an angle it would have less holding power. Like if you were to put a shelf on the wall or a towel bar and your kids started doing pull-ups on the towel bar, it would cause those anchors to pull out of the wall. So I'm going to try to simulate that here. I've got this scale set up at about a 20 degree pull instead of straight up and down like I had it before. So we'll see if my theory is true. Um, the one that I've got in the wall right now is the, uh, the drywall toggle that threads in, but it's got the uh, flipper behind the wall. And I'm going to test that one, and I'm also going to test that white plastic thread and anchor. I'm only going to test this twice so that the video doesn't get too long and that uh, you're going to get the idea anyway. So here we go. Let's see what happens. I hear it crunching. There it went. There it went. Okay, remember earlier I told you that I had a favorite um, anchor? This one is my all-around go-to anchor. It's this white plastic one right here that threads in with the drill. 
Um, this one is great for general use. I don't know how it's going to do on this test, but uh, we're going to find out. No matter how it does, I still like this one, and I'm still going to continue to use it. Slow. Slow. Actually, a pretty good bit of weight right there. There it went. So I just wanted to give a quick summary here of what you've just seen. Obviously the clear winner of brute holding power was the toggle that had the zip ties on it that you slid the piece up and it broke off. Um, that one had the most holding power. It came in at 247 before it tore itself out of the wall and about 189 before it really started moving. Um, that one is not really the most practical one to use even though it was the strongest. Um, I like the uh, plastic thread in one like this one right here that you screw in with the drill it had very good holding power and I think this one is the best bang for your buck it's pretty economical and it had very good holding power uh, maybe for something like a small picture maybe not so much but um, for anything else other than that it, it works very well I use these all the time and I've never had one fail unless somebody is literally trying to do pull-ups on a towel bar then it'll fail um, but uh, the angled pole came out pretty good. It didn't make as much difference as I thought. It made a little bit of difference, um, but I was only pulling at about a 20 degree angle. If I was to increase that angle by uh, 45 degrees or something like that, I think that weight would go down pretty quick. Uh, but I didn't want to make the video too terribly long, uh, but rest assured at that angle it would come out a lot faster. So if you enjoyed this video, click on that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I come out with videos like this as often as I can. Thanks for watching.